Welcome to my YouTube channel. This time we are going to turn this photo into a graffiti using Adobe Photoshop. Let's start. The images used in this video will be in the description. To start, using Ctrl plus J, we duplicate the layer, and using the Object Selection tool, select the subject area, and apply a layer mask. With the black brush, inside the layer mask, we eliminate some excess parts as seen on the screen. Keep in mind that the cut should not be perfect. Now again with Ctrl plus J, we duplicate the layer twice and leave only the bottom one visible. Then we go to Filter, Filter Gallery, and select Poster Edge. Change the values to 0, 0 and 2. Now we are going to Filter, Sharpen, and click on Unsharpen Mask, and change the values as we see on the screen. We go back to Filter, click on Stylize, and then on Oil Paint, and put the values as we see on the screen. Now we return to Filter, Sharpen, and click again on Unsharpen Mask, and change the values as we see on the screen. Now being in the second layer, we go to Filter, Filter Gallery and again click on Poster Edge, setting the values to 0, 3, and 6. Then we will Filter, Stylize and click in Oil Paint, leave everything the same and apply. Change the Blend Mode to Overlay and lower the opacity of the layer. Now being in the upper layer, we go to Filter, Other, and click on High Pass. Put the values as seen on the screen, and change the Blend Mode to Overlay. We select all the layers and with more Ctrl E we combine all the layers, with more Ctrl we duplicate and modify the levels of the duplicated layer. We apply a layer mask, and with the black brush we erase some parts of the body as we see on the screen. We lower the opacity a little. Combine again using Ctrl plus E and duplicate using Ctrl plus J. We go to Filter, Filter Gallery, and select Cutout and put the values as seen on the screen. Change the blending mode to multiply, and lower the saturation. We lower the opacity a little. Now we combine the two layers, and modify the levels as we see on screen. With Ctrl C we copy the image and with Ctrl V we paste the image of the subject in the image of the wall. With Ctrl plus T, we adjust the size of the image. We change the blending mode for multiply. 
With the curve tool we clarify the image. We click twice on the layer and open the blending option. Here we modify the values as seen on the screen using the Alt key pressed. We apply a layer mask and erase the lower parts of the subject as seen on screen. Now we combine the layers with Ctrl plus E and duplicate with Ctrl plus J. Press Ctrl plus T and right click select perspective and modify the image as seen on screen. Perfect, we're done. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and comment. Thanks for the support.